Good afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. The power of surrender is the healing thought for today. And beloved friends, as long as we are on this physical plane, there will be obstacles on our path, bridges to cross, and dreams to pursue. No matter who we are, there comes a time when we have exhausted all options and human resources, and we have no other choice but to hand over to God. It is said that man's extremity is God's opportunity. So it never fails, my friends, that God welcomes the opportunity always to come to our rescue. That is just the way it is designed, my friends. God is in charge, not us. We are co-creators, not creators. So we cannot function on our own. John 12, 24 says, Unless a corn of wheat falls into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Amen? That means, my friends, our work ends where God's work begins. Amen. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 3, 6-7, I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then, neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Amen. Beloved friends, we don't know what the future holds, so let us make the space for God. We will continue in our error thinking experience in hardships until we let God in. So, allow God to direct and guide your choices. God will give you divine instructions on how to proceed. All you need to do is to do your part and then leave the rest to him. He knows your needs, even before you do. He says in Isaiah 65, 24, Before you call, I will answer. And while you yet speak, I will hear. So, practice the art of stillness, my friends, as God is most active when everything seems still. There are times when sense consciousness holds us captive and we experience lack, limitation, ill health, and many other undesirable conditions. During these times, we may become willful, trying to be our own providence. But Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct thy paths. How often we misjudge a situation, only to see things differently. Put all your trust in God, my friends. He knows the way we take. He is constantly working in and through us, but the only way he can reach through to us is if we let him in. 
whenever we are faced with circumstances beyond our control, God is always saying to us, let go of the need to control and to know that I am in control. Let go and know. Sometimes when we face problems that seem insurmountable, it is difficult to take ourselves out of the way. But the grace of God is our sufficiency in all things. God is busily at work even in the most heartbreaking things of life. When the way seems dark and hills are hard to climb, there is only one way to experience real strength, and that is to make Jesus the Christ the manager of our lives. When we try to make ourselves the manager of our own lives, it will only result in conflict, confusion, and stress. The body is not held captive under the power of the will, and physical or mental healing will not happen by the power of our own mind. Overcoming negativity or treating ill health and limitation is therefore not about using the power of the mind over matter. Our mind is only the channel through which truth works, but it must be free from guilt, unforgiveness, pride, and thoughts of limitation and negativity. You cannot experience the mind of Christ, however, when you are in error consciousness or when you are disconnected from the true source, God, the good, in your thinking. So stay connected to God, my friends, through prayer and meditation and through the power of surrender. The answer never comes by constant searching or seeking. All healing of mind, body, or affairs take place when the time is right, when the mind is in sync with the mind of God. It comes with a quiet yielding of the soul, my friends. It is not for us to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. Amen. And that is what Acts 1 verse 7 states. When you are connected to the mind of God, you will be directed to pursue the right course of action necessary for you, and you will find strength and encouragement in times of weakness. God is always at hand, and he is always available, my friends. He is the answer. He will see us through, not necessarily when we expect it, but at the right time and in the most perfect way. It happens like the dawning of a new day. We know the dawn is at hand no matter what we do. So, likewise, we expect healing without laboring. Isaiah 58 verse 8 says, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. The work of God is unseen in the universe, but nevertheless perfectly orchestrated. God is in charge, and our responsibility is to listen and follow his divine guidance. When you abandon all thoughts of personal self, God, the good omnipotent, will guide you into all truth. A peaceful and healthy mental attitude is bound to manifest peace and health in our minds, 
and in our bodies. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, it will guide you into all truth, says John 16, verse 13. Letting go, however, does not mean folding your hands and doing nothing. Letting go means to be actively engaged in the process, not outlining or seeking, but living and resting in the awareness of the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient God. Sometimes, after experiencing one challenge after another, we may ask, why me, dear God? But we should never give up, my friends. We should continue to pray for increased strength and faith. When we truly trust in the higher power, all that need to be revealed will be revealed. And all that need to be healed will be healed at the right time and in the most perfect way. God understands our weaknesses and he never fails to increase our strength during our trials if we allow him the space to work in and through us. In 2 Corinthians 12, 7 to 10, the Apostle Paul writes about his own overcoming experience being tortured by what he calls a thorn in his flesh. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffer me, lest I be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Beloved friends, Paul realized that there was nothing that he of himself could do to change his situation. He realized that struggling with this challenge would just make matters worse. So he handed it over knowing that without any mental obstruction, God who is absolute and unchanging good would work in him and through him and through all his circumstances and all would be well. Paul obviously stopped focusing on the condition and he was able to meet the condition with the consciousness of the Christ presence. Paul arrived at a consciousness far above his present perception of limitation, proving that true healing is not just about the physical, but also about the spiritual aspect of the self. Amen. We cannot achieve any task, great or small, my friends, without truly letting go and letting God. It is not I, but the Christ in me that does the work. It is the I am within us, my friends, that accomplishes all things, both great and small, not our ego or limited self. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, Not by might, not by power, 
but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And Jesus the Master tells us in Matthew chapter 6, take no thought for anything. In other words, strive for nothing. Striving causes anxiety, depression, and unhappiness. Instead, learn to become still. Persevere through your difficulties, and you will experience God or good in everything. Let go and let God, my friends, be still and know that I am God. Amen. And now, beloved friends, let's look at some points for contemplation. <music> physical plane there will be bridges to cross and dreams to pursue there comes a time when we have to hand it over to God God is in charge not us God's work begins where our work ends sense consciousness sometimes tries to hold us captive but we can't deny them by letting God in. God is our sufficiency in all things. The body is not held captive under the power of the will. Treating unhealthy conditions or situations is not about using the power of the mind over matter. The mind is only the channel through which truth works, but it must be free from negation. You stay connected to God through prayer and meditation and through the power of surrender. We cannot achieve any task without letting go and letting God. Amen. And now I invite you to join with me for the call to action. I invite you in the stillness of this moment to acknowledge the presence and the power of Almighty God within you and without you. Choose now, beloved friends, to let go and surrender to the mighty healing presence and the power of God. Allow God to be in charge of your life and affairs and watch as the seemingly impossible becomes possible. Only trust God, my friends. God has all the answers to all concerns. He knows all your desires. Surrender now to the totality of his presence because he knows your needs even before you do. Before you call, God answers. So let go of your attachment to things, people, or circumstances. Cease to worry by taking yourself out of the way. Do what you can humanly do to help yourself and leave the rest to God. Put your hand in his today and surrender to his presence and his power, knowing that he will lead you to life everlasting. Now, give God thanks that you are now fulfilled with the awareness of his everlasting presence. Amen. It was certainly a very wonderful experience sharing with you on the topic of surrender. I hope you were blessed.
please join with me next week Friday for another topic in the series a healing thought today God bless you please subscribe